I'd like to welcome everybody back to the channel at Boo's Sneaker Review 8. Tonight we're going to be reviewing the Lamella Ball MB1, the pink iridescent shoe. This is the box that comes in. Even the box is pink, as you can see right on the front. It's got the knot from here and the circle. It doesn't have the scratch marks like the MB3. And then it's got the mellow wand right here with the Puma. And then on the side, it's got the Puma Rare in gray. This shoe is already sold out on the Puma website. I looked on the Champs and there's a few left on there, but on Puma, it's already sold out. But this is the Lamella Ball MB1 Iridescent. This shoe is really, really, really nice when you can see it in person, not from here. So let's take a look at it. I don't know why I got mine so late, but I just got it. A lot of people had already gotten theirs earlier, but mine came kind of late. But let's take a look at it. This is the Lamella Ball MB1 Iridescent. And as usual, you've got the one of one on the tongue right there with the Lamella Ball signature trademark right there. And I'm gonna get back so you can see it right on there. It says not from here. And right there, you've got the one of one. This shoe looks really good in person. It's nice. It's like a light pink. It's, it's it looks great. I love it. And then on the inside, you've got the one of one right there. And then of course you've got the signature rare on the bottom. Where on the MB3 you've got the RA on one shoe and the RE on the other shoe. Then the ones, it's just rare. And then you've got on one of one on the circle right there. But this shoe looks really nice. This is what it looks like on the top. I really like it. And a friend of mine, I wanna point out just like he did, check out his site. An eye for kicks, he pointed this out on his site that is a really good observation. I think they missed out on this too. This would have looked really good if they'd have given you an extra set of laces. Would have been really nice in like the same color of this like lighter blue that they put on here like where it says not from here and up in here like almost the color of this shirt that would have really set this shoe off i think he had mentioned that on his site on an eye for kicks but i think that would have looked nice if they just given you an extra set of those to put in here but they didn't and they usually don't give you extra laces in the Pumas, but I think they would have looked really good with those laces. He pointed that out on his website, but this is what it looks like on the top view. And this, this shoe is, like I said, already sold out on the Puma website. So it must be very, very popular. This is this, the outside view. The inside of it. And then of course the back view where you get the mellow and the little puma thing right there. And then we can't forget the bottom with the rare. What do you guys think? Comment, please, please leave comments. You guys gonna get this? If you are, hurry to Champs website. There's still sizes available. I just looked today. I don't know what size you need, but they have sizes on there at champs.com. And also I wanted to let you know that the LeBron 21K 
came out today. The latest one, the denim one with the gum rubber sole. It's available if you guys are interested. I just ordered it and that'll be my next review. It looks pretty good. A lot of people are kind of were commenting saying they're worried about the denim tearing because if you look at the shoe, it shows actually a tear in it. I think it's supposed to look that way though, but it may be more of a casual shoe just to wear, not something you're gonna hoop in. But comment below if you're gonna pick this shoe up, yes or no, and go look at the LeBron 21, the latest one that's denim with the gum rubber sole. And let me know what you guys think. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe below at Boo Sneaker Review 8 and hit that like button. Thank you.